Uh, hi everyone, I'm Byo Takagi from Spy Unosato also. I've been doing the farm experience since this summer. I'll introduce a uh, unique farming with our spring water and the uh, research we've been working on. Uh, this is uh, our natural farming site. We've se we have several fields around our buildings and grow vegetables without any agricultural chemicals or even fertilizer. Uh, it's called natural farming based on the concept that to grow vegetables in natural way. We also have large hydroponic greenhouse use, using our spring water called gold water, gold water and silver water, which is uh, which uh, introduced by uh, Mise Oshima uh, previous presentation. Uh, this uh, year one is gold water and uh, silver one is uh, silver water. Uh, we add organic matter and minerals in the hydroponic water. Uh, like natural world, cabbage butterfly can be seen in the house. And this is, uh, oh, sorry, this is lettuce, and we grow them all, all the year in this greenhouse. And uh, this is uh, tomato and uh, Japanese shiso leaves. leaves. It's a herb served with a low fish called sashimi. I measure some of those leaves and hydroponic water once about every two days and analyze them. I use Hamamatsu Photonics spectrometer. Leaves are measured by diffused reflectance mode and waters are measured in transmittance mode with one millimeter pass length of cubits. I measure um, shiso and basil and two leaf samples from each kind, each day. I pick them and bring it back to the lab and measure them in 15 minutes after they are picked. And this is, uh, uh, this is the hydrophonic bed. Uh, I measure inlet and inlet, inlet part and the outlet part of the water, uh, which is circulating under the hydrophonic bed. We can observe roots by lifting up the soil tray. Soil tray. And our objective is to observe the water structure of the vegetables and the leaves from various points of view and uh, correlation of water circulating under the, under the hydrophonic bed for growing be better vegetables. And this is first result. This is a, a PLS model for of, of shiso leaves for temperature. I measure sample temperature by infrared thermometer and uh, sample temperature fluctuates from 24 to 28 degrees and the model is very well developed. And this is uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a temperature period for another kind, uh, basal, which shows similar regression vector. Uh, main peaks are almost the same, and uh, which is uh, totally different from the water regression for the temperature, which is not shown here. But uh, yeah, they are very well predicted, uh, developed also. And when I applied Shiso PLS model for basil leaves, it's very well predicted, uh, which is uh, interesting. And next experiment is a uh, peak, peak time ex experiment, which I called. I pick uh, Shiso and the basil leaves and measure their spectrum between 15 minutes to 90 minutes after they were picked, and uh, several times at randomly. I took the data of five days and analyzed them together. This is the result of PLS regression model for the minutes after they are picked. The accuracy is um, quite decent with coefficient of determination over 0 0.7. And interesting, interesting thing is that both kinds appear to have similar regression vector. And especially several up peaks and down peaks are almost the same same wavelength. And I also corrected uh, 30 mode 
basically lives for 10 days, molds its mold, and applying those previous, previously shown temperature and peak time PLS model to them. This one, this model, I apply those uh, healthy model to uh, mold basis. First, uh, this is applying picking peak time PRS model to mode leaf spectrum, uh, picked time model to mode leaf spectrum. Although mode bases are measured in 15 minutes after they are picked, most of, most of them are wrongly predicted as 30 to 70 minutes. And second, this is uh, uh, I apply temperature PL PLS model to mold bezels, and this is well, this is why fit, and uh, plots are scattered against why fit line. So if we take uh, those models as a represent representation of healthy bioreaction towards outer factor like uh, sorry outer factor like uh, temperature. Uh, or picked time, uh, and then we project unknown sample to those models, and it's far from the proper line, it could suggest that his uh, reaction towards the uh, factor is not a uh, healthy one. And detail and other results are put on my poster, so please take a look at poster number 27. And the last one, the, this is a base, base water experiment. I prepare two base water, and tap water and our, our spring water, then put liquid fertilizer of 0.5%, then did uh, PCA and subtract factor one to completely, uh, which is the baseline, uh, um, most of them are temperature difference. Um, and to see, to see the minor peaks and uh, Upper yellow, upper yellow one is our mineral water and blue one is tap water. Of course, peaks are different, but after added liquid fertilizer, uh, that one, uh, they changed in a different way. So it's quite natural result, but it suggests that not, not only what is put into the water, but uh, interaction with water is also important for the hydroponics. So what we are planning to is, make small planter and see what kind of water is good for growing vegetables and how long the water sustain its good condition. In other words, what signs tell us to replace water or put fertilizer? And number two, uh, follow the vegetable spectrum and see what is the freshness in terms of aquaphotonics and uh, how long it lasts and how aquagram changes uh, when it goes bad. So. Thank you very much for attention. Thank you very much for Again, questions can be addressed at the poster.